Uh, Kevin, no stranger to Chicago. He coached here for two seasons, had Michael Jordan in his rookie year. In fact, uh, Kevin's main claim to fame during his tenure here wasn't making the playoffs. It was his ability to handle Jordan in horse games at the old Angel Guardian Gym. Oh, he's never going to beat me in horse. <laughs> <laughs> Well, never say never. Right now, Kevin Lockery standing by courtside with our own Wayne Larrabee. Wayne? Well, thank you very much, Dan. We're with Kevin Lockery. And Kevin, I guess you have one thing going for you, if nothing else. You did beat Michael Jordan in horse. <laughs> I must have cheated because, uh, you know, Michael, we used to shoot an awful lot when uh, he was a rookie. And uh, he became a great, he was a good shooter then, but he's be, he became a great shooter. And that's another one of the traits that made him the best player that's ever played. Your ball club debuted last night. A disappointing loss at home. Shaquille outstanding in that ball game. Uh, Ronnie Cycli played well as, as well. Your thoughts on your team as you get into this season? I thought we had a great camp and, and a great exhibition season. And last night was a tremendous disappointment. Uh, they played great. You got to give them credit. We played them in the exhibition game and handled them pretty well. Shaq was awesome, but they actually, the whole team really played well. We didn't play very good basketball last night. Hopefully we can bounce back tonight. Everybody's wondering what kind of team the Chicago Bulls will be without Michael Jordan. What does your scouting report uh, tell you on the Bulls? Well, I watched the film of the game last night. I thought they played great basketball. Yeah, they're going to miss Michael. He's the greatest player ever played. But uh, now the, the other players that also outstanding players stepped it up last night. And I think they'll be a really an outstanding basketball team. Again, I don't know if they can be a championship team without Michael, but they'll be outstanding. Michael Jordan. Uh, you know, I don't know if any of you realize Kevin Lagery coached Julius Irving and Michael Jordan at the heights of their careers, the preeminent players of their era. Just a, an overview. I mean, can you compare those two players? Well, I think there's a lot of comparisons. To them. Number one, they love the game. Uh, they love to play. They'd be in the gym all day. Two great competitors. Three very coachable. I think the one separation between the two is Michael's ability to handle the basketball. Michael really uh, was able to take the ball every any way he wanted on the floor. Doc was good at it, but not as not as good as Michael at it. I think that was the difference. 1984, Michael Jordan's first year in the league. Uh, you were his head coach. When did you know? I, I mean, granted, he was an All-America at North Carolina, but when did you know you had something really special at this level on your hands? The second practice in training camp. Is that, it took that long, huh? I, took his I don't know what we missed the first <laughs> practice, but first practice was most, mostly conditioning. The second day, we ran some drills one-on-one, -on -one, and then we see the things Michael could do with the basketball. I remember mentioning to Rod Thorne who was standing on the side, this guy's going to be a big timer. I didn't know at that stage he'd be the best to ever play, but we knew he was going to be an excellent player and something special. It turned out he became the best player to ever play the game. Well, Kevin Lagery, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Best of luck to you and the Heat. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Let's set it back up to Dan Rowan. Okay, hey, Wayne, thank you very much. Kevin Lockery, one of four men to have had the distinct pleasure of coaching Michael Jordan in the NBA. And millions of fans were electrified by watching him perform the impossible every single night.